Hi children. I thought that over the next couple of weeks I would read you some books by my favourite children's author. Now some of you just by the front cover might recognise this book and you may even know the author. Do you know who it is? Well then. Yes, it's Julia Donaldson. Love her, love her books. She has written so many. So I've got a little selection here that I'm going to read. But the first one that I'm going to read is What the Ladybird Heard. Now, we spoke about the author, but we also have an illustrator here, and her name is Lydia Monks. Does anybody know what the illustrator does? Have a think. Yes, that's right, she draws the pictures. Love these. Now this one, you don't can't, obviously can't feel it, but it's a feely one. I can feel, look, I can feel where the ladybird has been. It's not a fairy sheep though, unfortunately. So, where are we for this book? We are on a farm. Have you ever been to a farm? There's our ladybird. And as I said, I can feel her, I can feel her spots. Now, what I love about Julia Donaldson's books is that they rhyme. Now, when I'm reading this, see if you can pick up the words that are rhyming. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow and a ladybird. There she is, look, just down there. Well, I said, I can, she's all, oh, she's raised. And the cow said, moo. And the hen said, hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, said the pig. Bah, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. One cat meowed while the other one purred. And the ladybird said, never a word. She was quiet. She didn't say anything. But the ladybird saw and the, uh, the ladybird heard. There she is. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. There they are. Open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. There we are. And what does X mean? X marks the spot. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals, This is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at of night, past the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond, past the hog, being careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And yeah, she is, look, she's very animated, look, telling them all about it. I think they're probably all a bit shocked, especially the poor cow. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ma, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it in to each animal's ear. Here she goes, and I can feel it. Look, I can feel the pattern it's making. Look, whee, around it goes, right across there. At 
dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept. There they are, can you see them? Sneaking in, a little sneaky pair, and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, nay! The goose? A goose doesn't say nay. And the goose said nay with all her might. And Len said, that's the horse, turn right. Ah, I think those clever animals have a plan. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck said, Hugh, we're right on track. Oink, said the cat. Oh, there goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ma said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, Moo! Two more steps to go, said Hugh. Oh no, can you guess what's going to happen? What have they got near? Uh uh oh. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh! And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh. And he called the cops and they came, Nina. And they threw the thieves in their panda car. Yeah, look at that. Stares them right, they got caught. Then the cow said, moo. And the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose. And quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. And woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. That's the end of what the ladybird heard. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. See you all soon.